Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is your monthly message for January 2022. Um, it's been some time since I've done individual zodiac sign readings for everybody, and I figured I wanted to do something a little bit special for all of you. I figured I would bring them back at least for the month of January into the new year. So happy new year to everybody. I hope you get everything that your heart desires in this new year year so let's see cancer sun moon rising and venus we're going to be looking at the month of january 2022 we're going to be looking at the beginning the middle and the end of month for you so let's see cancer sun moon rising venus signs beginning middle and end of month for january 2022 let's see cancer sun moon rising venus Beginning, middle, end of month for January 2022. Okay, beginning, middle, end of month, and then underneath the deck, we also will be looking at that. So let's take a look at the beginning of the month. Five of Swords, middle of the month, Ace of Swords, Six of Wands for the end of month, and underneath the deck. The tower, a shake up to wake up. Whoa, Cancer. You know what? I forgot who was it that had the five of swords in the same position um, of the beginning of the month. And basically what that's saying to me is that the beginning of the month, you're going to be saying, I'm done. I'm, you know, I'm over it. There's something that has to change. Again, the five of swords is an energy where you don't want to keep dealing with the same old, same old. Something has to change and shift, okay? Um, so sometimes with the Five of Swords, you will cut your losses. You will walk away from something that's not working. You will say enough is enough. You will take an L or a loss where needed and throw in the towel and walk away from a no-win situation. And oftentimes walking away from a no-win situation is actually a healthy situation um, or a healthy thing to do in the situation, right? So I feel like the Five of Swords is you taking decisive action um, because you're gaining clarity and peace of mind on a situation with the ace of swords and underneath the surface you're seeing things clearly with the tower for what they are for what they aren't and it's like okay I know what I need to do now and then the five of swords is about saying enough's enough I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired and I'm moving away sometimes it's an energy of feeling defeated but um, in this case, because you're gaining such clarity, it's, I don't, not necessarily feeling that so much. I am getting the vibe that you are understanding what's working and what's not working. And because you understand what's not working anymore, you're willing to say enough is enough. Okay. And that could be in anything, any situation and scenario where something's not working out, you got to kind of put your foot down. And I think that five of swords is in a moment where you decide to put your foot down because you see what things are for what they are and if something's not going to shift or change then you know you can't keep continuing to um throw good money after bad right it's like a sunk i'm hearing like sunk cost fallacy i'm sure you've heard that term before and that's kind of the vibe that this five of swords is giving me but what it's going to do is um you're going to decide that you can't keep throwing good money after bad and you're going to say okay i'm done with this and change something which in the process of realizing or having a major realization in the beginning of the month uh cancer it sets off a chain of events over here i feel with the tower i think you're breaking down a lot of paradigms and ways of thinking um you're shattering your own ideas of even what's possible um, it feels like a breakdown to have that breakthrough. We have the breakdown here underneath the surface, but here's the breakthrough with the Ace of Swords. So whatever's happening over over here, it to me, it's like it. I'm not really giving it much of my energy in a sense that I'm not looking at it like it's a bad thing. I think this is leading you to at the end of the month, all the success and all the breakthrough that you were hoping for, you're getting it at the end of the month. So. Whatever wasn't working over here, you know, it kind of feels like a blessing in disguise, Cancer. It really does. And I'm excited about it because it feels liberating. Underneath the surface of the tower, that's exactly what the tower does. It liberates you from a situation that kept you blind or kept you um, 
restricted or limited and it, what it does it frees you from that paradigm or situation scenario or circumstance that was holding you back and the beautiful thing about it is underneath the surface it's giving you an, a form of enlightenment clarity understanding it's clearing the fog um, it's helping you to have a fresh set of eyes and or perspective you got to consider that with the tower energy there is fog right but when the dust settles after the crumbling down of a foundation right after the dust settles you see things so clearly right it's like that one song um i can see clearly now the rain is gone right that song and it's like yeah it's gonna be a bright sunny day because now you will see everything for what it truly is and now that you have that clarity you can move forward and you can pursue new things and you don't have anything getting in your way. There are no more obstacles in your way, right? So I feel like, yeah, you're moving into your success. You're moving into a very um, powerful time where all the limitations, restrictions, mindsets, uh, circumstances, blockages, hindrances, all that is being freed. You're li that is all lifted out of the way. It's not going to be an issue anymore. You're walking away from that. Um, scenarios that aren't healthy for you, maybe even dynamics and relationships that aren't healthy for you, circumstances that aren't healthy for you with the Five of Swords, you're walking away from that, okay? You could be walking away from something, something, you know, could be cutting ties with you, but somebody's cutting ties with something here. Cutting ties could also be with, you know, your a job you hate, a person that you're not getting along with, um, you know, anything, anything on maybe even a diet that is just, you know, you're, you got to change up your food or the way you eat, like you're, you're cutting something out or off, right? But in the cutting out or off, you're freeing yourself and you're giving yourself a new foundation, a new sense of being, right? And it's like the tower is that energy where it cleans the slate. It gives you a fresh start. You have that here in the middle of the month with the ace of swords after you decide enough is enough of whatever it is you're fed up with and you, you decide okay this is my time new year is often a time where we do that new year is often a time where we decide okay i'm done with this and doing that this way i'm going to change things up and do something different and as a result of deciding you open the doors to your success. You open the doors to your abundance. You open the doors to new possibilities. And I see that happening for you here, Cancer. I'm not looking at the tower as a bad thing. Yes, it is a shift and a change, but it's also a shift and a change for all the right reasons in the right direction. And it's going to give you the clean slate and the fresh start that you've been looking for all this time without anything getting in your way. I mean, consider... You have the Ace of Swords. You have the Six of Wands. This new beginning is leading you to your victory, leading you to your success, leading you to your triumph over previous adversity. Do you see? That hummingbird, hummingbird energy is also an energy of happiness, um, being present in the moment, you know, as an animal, uh, as an animal medicine. And it talks about, you know, your happiness being present in the moment and uh, stopping to smell the roses. And I think there is something that is freeing you up and it going to allow you to do that. You have the key here now to open up new doors for yourself, okay? And these new doors towards the end of the month are going to be leading you to your victory, leading you to your success, leading you to, um, I even want to say security. Okay, because sometimes keys keep things safe, right? They open things up to us, but at the same time, they can lock things in and keep them safe. So I feel like you're safe in this new beginning and you're opening up doors that are going to bring you everything that you've wanted, but maybe at one point were held back from. So I think January is your month to shatter, right? What do they say? Shatter the glass ceiling or whatever. Um... This is about breakthrough and about you accessing parts of yourself even that were even at one time 
um, dormant is the feeling here. And I guess the reason for that is, um, is maybe the Ace of Swords. Because think about it, Ace of Swords can talk about clarity of mind, information, um, and downloads, right? On If we're thinking spiritually, it can speak of downloads. So it's like helping you access information, helping you access something that was dormant or something that you didn't have access to before, um, which is going to put you on the right path to achieve more, to to be more confident in yourself, have more courage in yourself, have more belief in yourself. And I say that because of the Six of Wands, which is a courageous soldier having come back from war, having overcome adversity. So it feels like you're not going to be asleep to the way spirit is divinely guiding you. Uh, I think you're going to have a clear line of sight moving forward in this new direction after this Five of Swords energy works itself out of the way and your foundation is clear and clean. Um, spirit now can... Okay, the feeling here is spirit now has a clear channel to deliver what it needs to deliver to you to help you access the things that you have always wanted, but at some time or some point felt held back from. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm, you know, I'm receiving like uh, channeling and sometimes it's like I'm feeling the feeling first and I have to translate the feeling into words. Okay, so bear with me here if I'm not making sense uh, or I seem like I'm all over the place. <laughs> um, anyhow, the Ace of Swords is the moment where the knowledge that you sought is opened up to you. The answers that you needed were are now given to you. The resistance is you're broken free of that with that tower underneath the surface. Now that the resistance is out of the way, Spirit has a clear channel of communication, Ace of Swords, to put you on the path towards, with the Six of Wands, your success, your triumph over adversity. The adversity are is, I think, some of the limitation, restrictions, and things that just weren't working. You're conquering over those things with more confidence because I think Spirit, if anything, is giving you the nuggets that you need, the information that you need, the know-how that you need, the insight that you need, the clarity on your path that you need. Because all of this is torn down and broken away and out of the way. And there's no hindrance or blockage from receiving, okay, communication now is what this is saying. So there's a spiritual aspect to this I'm picking up, but there's also like a circumstantial thing I'm picking up here that some of you decided to make this move for yourself to walk away from what's not working therefore when you walk away from what's not working you also open the doors to new things leading you to future successes okay and you have a clear sense of understanding as far as what what you are who you are um, and no one's going to be able to argue that moving forward again the, a sense of confidence that comes over you because you can now stand again in a position of authority, and I'm saying that with the Six of Wands, right? Knowing what you will and will not tolerate, cutting yourself free from things, people, and situations that weren't working, and because of that, you step into, um, you step into your your power. Number six is also alignment, so you could even say, you know, step into your alignment, free of the things of the past that would not work or that would uh, normally hinder you. Not anymore. You're you're free to succeed now. You're free to conquer Six of Wands. You're free to achieve now. You have the clarity, insight, and epiphanies that you've been looking for. You've had the breakthrough now that you've always needed and wanted. You have it now. It's yours, Cancer. So there's really nothing to hold you back and get in your way into 2022. You're, that's all out of the way. Okay, so... I'm super excited for you. I think this is great, all right? Um, so inspect, expect new insights, okay? That are going to lead you to some big moments of, whoa, aha, like, holy shit, you know? Like, that's kind of the vibe this is giving me. Um, you ever had a, like, synchronicity that, like, smacks you upside the head? And it just, it blows your mind. I also feel like that's, that could also be what's happening here with the Tower, the Ace of Swords. And because of that, right, it, it just gives you this feeling of I can do anything with the Six of Wands. 
I think some of you are going to be getting some really big synchronistic booms as well in January. But these big synchronistic booms are happening because you're a clear channel to receive them now. Spirit can do what it needs to do. It can talk directly to you. It can deliver the messages that you've always needed to assist you on the journey moving forward. Because all the hindrance, blockages, and resistance is now out of the way. The tower knocked them all out of the way. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm going to apologize that I hope this didn't sound cancer like a big giant rant. <laughs> You know, but that's just my excitement um, because it looks like you're coming into a major breakthrough that's going to lead you to something wonderful over here with the Six of Wands. And I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you that that's how you're starting off your new year. Okay. With a bit, with a bang, literally with a bang, with the tower. Right. Um, it kind of feels like earth shattering, but in the best kind of ways. Because once the dust settles what comes after it is so rewarding with the six of wands your treasure i feel like the key is opening up the treasure as well you're going to be opening up your treasure or accessing it now as well with the ace of swords okay whatever that treasure means to you but let's see if we can get a final oracle card for you cancer sun moon rising venus for January 2022, final oracle card. Final oracle card for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I even want to say congratulations. Um, <laughs> congratulations with the Six of Wands at the end of the month. You're achieving something great or wonderful. Um, and it's going to give you a chance to just soak it all in, stop and smell the roses, feel happy, feel lighter, feel freer, like the hummingbird, right? Okay. Uh, I just want one. So none of them gave me their face. So let's see, just one card for, for, for cancer, please. Yes, look at that. Cleansing waters. Purification activates vibrant life force. Okay, purification. Well, liberation as well with the tower, right? Because the tower is going to get rid of anything that's not working. I think you're also doing that with the five of swords. Um, you are cleansing your energy, your environment, your circumstance of anything that's not working. That's what that is. And because you're doing that, it's opening up doors for you, doors of opportunity for you. It's helping you reach new levels of understanding, even with the Ace of Swords, clarity, epiphany moments again. And you're going to feel renewed, I feel, as well with this. Not only that, we have the Dragonfly, which is a symbol of change. And we have the Lotus Energy in this card, which is also a symbol of change. Lotuses are grown from mud. It's one of those flowers that oftentimes is grown in adversity because the pot is in the mucky, muddy water and it has to, you know, grow through the mud before it reaches the surface of the water to gain its enlightenment. Again, it's clarity, it's epiphany, right? Um, and the sun, which is its success, six of wands. So this is about you going through a transmutative process, right? Tower energy is also a major change and shift. Uh, some of you could be going through ascension and that's maybe what this is all about maybe you're shedding the shadow and you're accessing your light your higher power your higher self right and this is the shifting into a new paradigm out of the old paradigm the old paradigm was maybe one of limitation and lack and frustration and struggle this new paradigm is one of success one of beauty okay one of um wholeness and well-being you see, and it does take change and it does take alchemy, inner alchemy to go through that. Just like the lotus works its way through the mucky, you know, muddy waters that we all have, the shadow, before it reaches the light. Okay. The shadow can be purposeful. It's where we learn. It's where we grow. It's where we um, face ourselves and heal. So it's purposeful. 
but it's so it's so liberating when we finally reach right the water the surface level of the water and we reach the sun we reach the light um we feel restored renewed rebirthed right so i feel like there's change upon you you're going through a major shift and change major closing out of a cycle yes with the tower energy and here's the ending with the tower underneath the surface that you've been going through the shifts and changes you've been going through and here's the new beginning so you have endings where endings bring what do they do they bring new beginnings so you have both these cards it makes total sense to get this yeah so let's see cancer uh what angel numbers come up for you if you're not familiar with my channel what i do is i roll the dice um for numbers these numbers can confirm some things I've already said in this reading and or provide you with additional messages that you need for your journey personally. I don't like to give you a source to look up the numbers because it could be one you don't like. Um, and at that point, you could lose some of the fun or magic. Um, and I also don't want to give you the number interpretation. I want you to do the research for yourself because I know that sometimes on the journey to researching the numbers for yourself, you will come across other synchronicity, serendipity, and confirmation spirit needs you to find. If I gave you a shortcut, I might rob you of that experience. Don't want that to happen. Likewise, I tell everybody to refrain from placing the number interpretation in the comment section for the same reason. We don't want to rob anybody of finding these nuggets of magic along the way. All right, so Cancer, let's see what number comes up for you for this reading. We have six. Five. Whoa, hold on here. 657 is your angel number. Go ahead and look up that number, Cancer. See what it brings to you. If you feel that this reading has helped and connected for you in some way, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. Um, and if you want to take it a step further to support what I do beyond YouTube, check me out on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below. Pay me a visit. I have handmade crystal jewelry there that I make with my two hands on my free time. Powerful tactile crystals like Moldavite and Libyan Desert Glass. And I also have uh, light language activations and personal readings when available. So much love to you wherever you are. Happy New Year to you. Take care and always keep shining.